when I started playing harp, I didn't realize how much it really helped me just as a person. Like It just helps you put everything into focus. Like you have to work hard if you want to be good at something. It made me feel like happy and sad at the same time because it's like good music and sad music at the same time. Playing the harp has been my life's greatest joy. Playing the harp has been therapeutic. Playing the harp is one of the best things I've ever done. It was freshman year of high school. They made an announcement on the loudspeaker. It was like, oh, we're having harp tryouts. <laughs> I've never seen anyone play the harp. Like, no one plays the harp. Like, I'm just gonna go see what it's about. And then I went in there, and Miss Steiner, she had me play that one C string. And then I just kept with it from then on. <laughs> I remember she had a very strong finger. <laughs> just one string, just pluck one string, and then I was hooked. <laughs> You can tell so much about their attitude, the way they pay attention to you, their willingness to learn, and even natural talent can come through in just that micro lesson. From that first string, we had our ensemble class. You know, Miss Steiner picked the students that she wanted, and we started learning Twinkle Twinkle, Little Star. And then, you know, the pieces started progressing, it started getting harder and I just kept with it. She has just grown tremendously. She is one of the most hardworking people I know in my life. Every lesson was like leveling up, jumping to the next level. I love the way it sound. I loved when I was playing it. It was just, it was me. I love just sitting there, it brings me full circle, like it just balances everything out for me. Like if I'm having a bad day, just go practice on the harp. <laughs> I've had a lot <laughs> of good, great moments with this harp. When I was in All City last year, that was, that's when I actually fell in love with the orchestra. <laughs> and I actually played in the concert and then the finale was just wonderful. I feel like you haven't experienced music until you've sat in an orchestra. You never know what child is you know, in a school somewhere with a talent sitting in them and a love for an instrument that you could be giving them a gift. For me, the mission of the Lyra Society is to expose and offer a, a gift of an instrument that most children would never get a chance to play. When we really got into the inner workings of what we wanted to do, we thought it would be nice to have a catchy name, a musical name, Glissando, for our harp school program. We're currently in middle schools and high schools, and we're now reaching eight-year-olds in second grade. No matter your grade, no matter what school you're at, no matter your background, you're getting a beautiful instrument and you're getting a fantastic teacher. The harp is a rare instrument, it's a beautiful instrument, and when a child sits at a harp, their posture changes, their concept of self rises to match the beauty of the harp. My goal would be for them not only to get to play this instrument, but also invest in them individually. When Elizabeth Steiner told me, Magina says she wants to go to music school, I was like, wow, that's amazing. Ever since I've started playing the harp, music school was always in the back of my mind, you know? I always thought, I'm not gonna get in. I've only been playing, I've technically only been playing for two years. I expressed it to my teacher, and she encouraged me, you know, do it, try it. I've been telling her lately that anyone with her amount of willpower and drive and self-management um, can go very far. I just needed that little that little nudge and then I decided I was going to do it. Elizabeth Hayden, she offered to give me lessons to prepare for my auditions. She's the principal harpist <laughs> of the Philadelphia Orchestra. Fostering the skill set in a young person through music and art will only help them in life. Playing the harp is one thing that I know for a fact that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. It's really 
exposed me to different areas. It just opened a new world and I didn't realize how much it really helped me grow as a person. We get to make good music. Music has a way of solving everything and I feel like more kids need to experience that. Because of the Lyra Society, I am the young woman that I am today.